Hello, and welcome to this TaxCalc training video. In this video, we'll get started with TaxCalc by showing you how to download and run the installer. Once that's done, we'll complete the process using the TaxCalc Hub setup wizard. After that, we'll look at setting up additional users so that multiple employees and colleagues can use TaxCalc at the same time. Let's get started by launching the web browser. Go to the TaxCalc website, www.taxcalc.com, and download the software. You can download TaxCalc in two ways. In the first instance, you can log into the website using your main account credentials in the My Account page. Normally, this would be your email address, usually the email address of the main contact at your firm. Or you can use your secondary account credentials. These would have been set up for you by the practice admin. Whether you use your main or secondary account credentials, once you've logged in, you can download the Smart Installer. Click on My Account and select My Products and Services. There should be an option to download. Click Download TaxCalc. The Smart Installer has pre-selected the operating system for us on this occasion. Go to the Downloads area, wherever that may be in your web browser, then click on the icon to run the application. Once the application is running, click Next. If Typical is not pre-selected, click Typical. If Typical is pre-selected, click Next. Now we're going to enter the TaxCalc Setup Wizard. Just go through the default options. Please read and agree to the licensing agreement. Notice the progress bar. It may appear to pause around the 50% mark, so please be patient. The install is still processing in the background. When the progress bar shows 100%, click Finish. Then you will see the following screen. If you don't recognize any of the databases listed above, click here to run the setup wizard. Now enter your licensing credentials. These are the email and username used when registering your product license with us. Now click Continue to create a new network database. You'll have to wait a few moments for the database to collect further packages and reach 100%. Once the packages have been collected, the TaxCalc Discovery Service Setup will run. Click Next. Leave the setup type as typical and click Next. Leave the default location as it is and click Next. Please read the license agreement and click I agree if you agree with the terms of the agreement. Now you'll be asked to enter a new password for the TaxCalc database. Your password needs to be a minimum of eight upper and lowercase letters, at least one number, and a special character. Now click Install. These installs can take a little while. Again, please be patient. Allow them to run and do not close them, as this can cause issues with the installation. Now click Finish. You'll then see a screen for creating a database. Once that's installed, you'll come to the TaxCalc Hub Setup Wizard. Click Continue. First, you'll be asked to create an admin user. The admin user has permission to perform tasks other users aren't allowed to, such as backing up and restoring the database, resetting user passwords, etc. It's important that admin user status is only granted to key people, such as the main proprietor of the firm, or certain IT people. Now let's add a password. Now we're going to set up your firm's filing credentials. It's a good idea to do this from the outset as it will appear in the set of accounts. Add in the address and firm qualification if required. Now enter your firm's contact details. You may not need to add the telephone number, though it may go into some boxes on the return. Again, that's up to you. This is the email address you're going to use to send information to HMRC. Tax returns, the filing receipt, and the gateway confirmation response will be sent to you via this email, so it's important you provide the most appropriate email address. Click Continue. Assuming that you already have your HMRC filing credentials, type those in here, and the details will be stored centrally. Then the software won't ask you for them each time you file a return. Input your user ID password, and agent reference. Your agent reference is useful because you can file 64-8s through TaxCalc 
for which your agent reference is required. Some practices have different IDs and passwords for filing self-assessments and corporation tax returns. If this is the case with your practice, then you can enter the respective IDs and passwords there. In most cases, however, there's just one ID and password. In this case, simply type the same credentials in twice. Now click Continue. Let's add in your firm's bank details. This is optional, but if you want to receive any refunds or rebates into your practice account, then redistribute to your client, you can do that here. Now you can enter your company's house filing credentials. These will be your presenter ID and presenter authentication. If you haven't used third-party software like TaxCalc to file the company's house before, you'll need to register for these details. You'll find an article in our knowledge base referenced as KB1307. Alternatively, you can simply go to the company's house website to generate your own credentials. Now click Continue. Now we come to VAT Return Online Filing Settings. Please note that these are your old Government Gateway credentials, not the filing credentials you would use to submit VAT returns under the MTD service. These old credentials should only be entered if you're intending to submit non-MTD VAT returns for voluntarily registered VAT clients, EC sales lists, or VAT returns for clients that haven't yet signed up to MTD. Your client credentials for filing VAT returns via the MTD service are not stored in TaxCalc, as you'll need to authorize TaxCalc to interact with HMRC services separately within the admin center. For more information on making VAT digital, visit www.taxcalc.com forward slash MTD. Now click continue and finish. We're all done. Now the software will prompt you to log in with the admin user credentials that you set up just a moment ago. You're good to go. If you have any questions or want to find out more, please go to our knowledge base or contact our support team. To view other videos on the TaxCalc software, click the links above and below. Thank you.